KFC, baby. You have us here. Good morning, my gorgeous friends. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, Hey babe, <laughs> you guys, today is a Saturday. The date is the, I think it's the 5th of October. Um, I got my hair did. I had a nails check, hair check, face pretty wet, right? Um, but unfortunately, I'm having a crazy breakout. It's like a hormonal breakup because I'm about to start my period. Anyway, besides the point, I'm about to start doing my makeup because I have a lunch date with Boto. or I want to film like a TikTok, but I don't have any mirrors, bro. I don't know how this happened. I don't know where I could have left my mirrors. I have nothing. So I need to figure out a way to find something that I'm going to be looking at um, as I do my makeup because i want to do it in the sitting room because it has the best lighting and the best background so wish me like i might even just have to do bototi and just like look at my laptop screen reflection i hope that works i don't know but i'll try i'm gonna look one more time for a mirror if i can't find it we have to keep going but anyway i wanted to say what's up show you guys my hair hair by betty always 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 i wanted to do something nice and short because it's about to be hot i don't know i think so the way the weather has been wired these days has been quite interesting so yeah let me quickly go look for a mirror and then we're gonna get started but i'm not gonna talk to you guys i'll probably insert insert the footage of me doing like whatever tiktok i was doing you know the steez and then you and i will get dressed together so hi friends get ready with me to go get lunch with my friends you guys, today the hurdles are hurdling. I haven't done a get ready with me um, on TikTok in so long. I don't know what the heck I'm going to say to you guys. So we're going to hide behind music. Yeah, I'm going to play music. <laughs> the problem I have, you guys, is that my phone speaker has like an interesting issue. So sometimes the sound is going to be like... <sighs> but we're going to get through it. I don't have a mirror as well. So I'm literally using my laptop as a reflection. It's a very interesting technique, but... We gotta do what we gotta do, girl. There's no time. He's beating the rape on his hand on my coochie. He touching the milio coochie. Doing good, bitch. I'm Gucci. Fly to Asia, he feeding me sushi. When we fuck friends. I had no time to catch you up before I left the house. I'm currently in clicks. I'm getting a couple of things. I will show you guys my outfit probably when I get home. But for now, there's a crazy, crazy Garnier sale. And I just bagged my cellar water and two serums. Eats down. Now I need to find the remaining thing And then go meet up with my girl. I met like four, six of you guys here. And all of you guys made me so shy. I did not know how to smile. I did not know how to look. But love you all so much. But let me stop vlogging before I get copywritten child. I was even just telling them that I've seen so many of you guys. And I don't know what to say. I'm such a shy person, guys. You don't understand. Hi, guys. <laughs> all right. It's so loud. But we've arrived. That's...
give me 500 of them immediately this second guys that stuff is so good the burger that i had the teriyaki beef something bowl that Buto had also was really good only critique though is that it was hella salty because of the soy sauce but yeah the drink of this one good is helping me feeling a little but honestly all the girls that i saw today love you guys down obsessed with you love you but my friend and i are just gonna walk around but who wants to get ice cream so we are currently milk, milky lane and then we are gonna end up going to vida cafe to get some cake because we're gonna get something sweet after but guys my makeup did so good if you watch my tiktok i think i inserted the footage here i was using my laptop as a reflection because i didn't have a mirror so i kind of ate down but yeah i just thought i'd update you i got so much stuff from clicks you guys like also this the flowers peeping out is giving i'm just a girl chesabi what's the move If I could express how I how tired I am we wouldn't stop like we wouldn't the conversation would not end excuse me anyway I'm back home now um, anytime I do not update you after doing my makeup before leaving the house I always feel like ish ah, doing my girls dirty but I think I vlogged pretty well guys first of all I went to the fields mall the second I got in there there was a girl the, the two girls you actually saw in this vlog Mwah, love you guys if you're watching this uh, the one girl she's like ah, I'm about to crash out I was like please don't crash out girl I actually do not know how to react when people recognize me in the street but I'm very humbled love you guys so much always but I'm about to give you guys a haul of what I got in clicks I got a lot of shiz ladies firstly Boto got me flowers I literally when she walked in with flowers I was like my friends need to stop doing this to me because I'm going to crumble like friendship is such a scrumptious delicious concept I love her for that so she actually got me oh not the bag already cracking she got me flowers and chocolate oh this is from Woolies I haven't had this before very excited to try it um I got some toothpaste because I had actually run out luckily they had two in one I got pure soap for my face because I low-key feel like my face is breaking out because of all the new products I'm trying I'm trying these those new Korean skincare that I showed you which is a new one I'm using CeraVe I'm using this and that and that so I'm going back to the basics so that I can clear it out and then you know do the things um, and clicks the special that I was talking about in clicks of Garnier I got these three babies so the first thing that I was really going to clicks for is micellar water um, to remove my makeup so the one that I normally use from Garnier is the pink one the one with the pink lid but I took this one because it has vitamin C and it is supposed to help with removing makeup what, 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 and it gives radiance I want to give radiance like when you see me I need to be exuding radiance right and then I went back to my roots I got this AHA plus BHA serum it's like a charcoal serum and then I got the vitamin C serum as well from Garnier so it was a three for one so buy buy three buy yeah buy three huh two for one what the freak two for one so buy three and then get the one free i don't know if that makes sense also i need to make sure that that was actually what's done because if it wasn't i'm gonna crash out okay um i also got myself some tissue oil because as much as i love sorry as i was to say as much as i love this nivea radiant and beauty even glow lotion it leaves me cracking on my back so i need to get something for the body got some red bull because i always need red bull in my life 
um yeah and then literally the rest oh the last thing that i'm really excited about is this lash um lash mascara thing from essence it is false lashes mascara extreme volume and curl a girl that i follow on instagram her name is palisa is always raving about this so very excited to use her so yeah you guys i don't know if i'm gonna talk to you guys again today <laughs> I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna rest. At least we've opened up another vlog. I have a whole week ahead of me to vlog. So yeah, we'll definitely get into that. So if I have anything else to say today, I will hit you guys up. But for now, I need to fix my life. Ianla, fix my life. <laughs> See you guys in the next clips. Friends, a couple of hours have passed and I've literally been snuggled up in bed watching netflix i just finished watching blood legacy on netflix and if i'm not mistaken i stand to be corrected this might be the last series that corny um acted in corny popularly known as mam sonto sonto ma baby um who unfortunately passed this year guys what a scrumptious show like south african tv has not been good to my like in my opinion since the river since the river ended i have been craving something so nice and so you know a beat i need them to release another season of blood legacy because i'm also not happy with how it ended um the series is a 20 episode series i just finished episode 20 right now and i'm my jaw is on the floor but anyway but yeah guys the main reason why i picked up my camera is because i wanted to just like talk about the fact that i used to be the kind of girl who like go weekend i'm ready to also my bible peeping up here is so scrumptious to me anyway i used to be the girl kids what a weekend it's and uh, me and my girls are planning where to go come on at the guy come back home 5 a.m do it again the next day go to work repeat and that was actually such a like tough lifestyle to live at the time it made sense because i was young bro i was 20 19 20 21 22 um so it makes it made sense and it gave my youth but like now get what parts after one drink like i'm ready to sleep so this is literally my life over weekends what i will do though is go to a cute restaurant with my girls taste some good food taste some different drinks because that's the you know vibe i'm on even when i'm out in sa with baby baby will take me to the best of the best restaurant so yeah it's very interesting to see how you know interests change and dynamics change because that also brings and factors in the kind of people that you keep around you i feel like a lot of us um you know drift away from our old high school friends our old university friends our old primary school friends because we're all in different head spaces and for me i've been blessed enough to have like silent breakups if we want to call those silent breakups like we drifted away but when we see each other it's still like hey what's up what's good are you good you know it's never been a situation where like i'm just like Ugh, i don't want to see this person ever again i mean there's instances here and there where there's just some people that you know we ended on bad terms and that's just how life is just the way it is other things will never be the same the people that i've decided to keep around my life right now i did it in such an intentional way knowing that there's a specific path that i want to go and walk this journey on so yeah i feel like this is just like advice that i'd you know want to have in my 20s to say that if you're losing a lot of people on the way along this leg of life it's okay it's part of life not everybody was supposed to stay in your life forever i feel like people come into your life for a season um you know they serve their purpose and continue moving continue pushing don't need to you know have drastic conversations of why are we not talking anymore sometimes it just be life i was literally talking to my aunt yesterday and she's saying the same thing she's like my best friend i haven't seen her in over three months but when i call her you know i'm able to be like hey girl hey and she just can't take the time out of her day to drive all the way to her friend so it really does happen i was ranting about netflix and it went into friendships but 
<laughs> yeah i'm gonna continue now i'm gonna watch the new season of love is blind <laughs> tv is eating tv right now is eating i'm having the time of my life i think there's something else that recently came out i think it's married at first sight south africa so i'm gonna watch that also but yeah see you in the next diary clip of whatever thought that i have because i don't think i'm going to be outside a lot i might take you guys to the gym with me tomorrow because we are going to gym in the morning so yeah i'll see if i have the strength to do so but mwah, bye hey girl pals welcome back to another day in the life of you guys Today is a Thursday and the last time I spoke to you was, um, sorry, my husband texted me and I needed to reply him. <laughs> last time we guys, um, we spoke was on Saturday when I was with Butu. Today is currently a Thursday. The date is the 10th of October. How crazy. I just haven't been feeling the best and we're going to get into that right now. It is like around 12 PM right now. I'm on my lunch break from work. So... We about to have a little McBang, baby. I got myself that KFC limited edition wrap, the dunked one, and some fries and some nuggets. I'm probably gonna be speaking more than I'm gonna be eating, but I was like, I have a lot to say. Like I have a lot on my mind that I would love to say. So why not talk to my YouTube girl? So this is how the thing looks. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over the internet um but yeah you guys oh i've had so much on my mind like i've said i haven't been able to vlog over the past couple of days because my cousin and i started waking up at 4 a.m monday tuesday wednesday to go to the gym so we're at the gym by like 4 30 quarter to five and then we leave at like two six so i get back home literally nap shower wake up work sleep repeat so this morning i literally t told him that bro i'm so happy for you to leave me i'm tired i need to sleep i need to rest i needed to sleep i need to rest and i feel a bit more rejuvenated i i i i, I guess sure kfc sarana but the main contents are what mattered to me let's take a bite first bite was for you first one i had was a bit better this one is a little bit dry but anyway let's get into my thoughts girl i've been feeling a little bit like in my head about everything that i'm doing from like my career to content creation to literally everything in my life like it's the time of the year where i'm just like hyper analyzing everything that i'm doing everything that i would have loved to achieve but haven't you know for reasons that are beyond me and bigger than me um and i don't know i had a sense where i realized that the reason why i'm having a lot of negative thoughts because i did have a lot of negative thoughts when it comes to what i'm doing content creation my job everything that is happening in my life and i realized that all of that was happening because i wasn't praying and one thing i was listening to um pastor stephanie Ike. Um, you can find her on YouTube, literally Stephanie I-K-E, if I'm mispronouncing her surname. And she's basically just saying that God will never whisper negative connotations about you because he knows why he put you on this um, earth. And there's a purpose, there's a reason why you exist on this earth. And I realize that anytime I feel like something negative or I'm thinking negatively about myself or my situation, it's because the devil is literally attacking me. I stopped praying. And I move away from God and I don't focus my attention too much on him So the one thing that I decided to do is get back to start like praying more consistently Reading my physical Bible as opposed to reading the Bible app because that's another thing when you're in your Bible app All you want to do is make sure that you Make it like a tick box exercise and make sure that you don't lose your daily refresh streak streak yeah streak that um, is counted on the app so yeah, I've been trying to read my physical Bible a little bit more and it's helped. It's been like two weeks of me trying to do that and I feel like my entire perspective has changed. And it's brought me to the realization that I wanted to start filming about today that like a lot of change in your life comes when you have a shift in perspective, number one, and when you are so intentional with your life. Because in the beginning of the year, you guys know 
my wallpaper is literally my um vision board so every year i set a vision board for myself and then throughout the year you know it changes obviously because of different circumstances you know different things that you want to do and then it just gets to a point where it's just completely nothing i'm not grinding for anything i'm not making sure that i you know achieve certain goals because i'm just feeling like i'm floating you know so yeah the biggest way that you know if you have an issue the biggest way to action it and make sure that you get through it is to set real intention and it's the simplest thing for example if you don't like how your body is doing be intentional about how you eat be intentional about how often you go to the gym if you don't like how much money you're making are you putting out um you know applications for jobs and i know that part is very sensitive because it's not easy to find a job but you need to consistently have you know intention be intentional about the all the job applications you're applying for because at some point when you're looking for a job um correct me if i'm wrong i remember when i was looking for a job it, i did it obsessively daily but it got to a point where i was just doing it just to do it just to you know tick that out the way and continue with my life so yeah intention is very important and there's someone i follow her name is cat the lead um actress on your christmas love her we actually share the same birthday i remember when google and i found out we're like ah! but yeah anyway she said she always says something on her stories and she says earn credibility with yourself so if you set an intention for yourself to say i want to achieve x within the next three months if you are doing things once a week within those three months to earn or rather to achieve that goal then you're not really earning credibility with yourself then you know already what ah, i can slack and you're allowing yourself to slack so i've literally been trying to earn so much credibility with myself in making sure that i send out pitch documents again because i was getting so demotivated with the content creation thing i think this is a chat you and i have had so many times but i was like you know what literally on one of my vision boards i think it's the one from last year it literally says they will ignore you until they can't so that's literally my mantra right now that they will ignore me in the content creation space until they cannot until they literally know that you know they see my value and actually want to pay me and you know put me a part of all of these things because truthfully speaking you guys my life i would rather it be financed by content creation because that's something i absolutely love with all my life i also love my accounting career but yo young yeah it's a piece because i have to pay for school i have to ah, i'm just a baby another thing that i've been thinking about is like go galing like you know what i mean and that's something i try not to allow to make me feel that type of way because I look at my siblings you know and what they're achieving at their current age i'm sure they wanted to achieve a lot like at my age um but they allowed their life to run its course and they were able to achieve those things at the current age that they're at and i'm talking over 30 over 40 years i look at my friends as well i look at my literally my aunt and uncle literally things that they put their mind to they will set that intention all of the people who are around me and then they'll take a step back and plan towards that so i think that's little things that i'm learning about myself and you know what i need to do in order to stop feeling like i'm inadequate or i feel like i'm not achieving the goals that i want to achieve i'm not achieving them because i'm not doing something about it i wasn't intentional i wasn't trying to earn credibility with myself so yeah if you're feeling like life is shuku -ku -ku -ku, Get up and try to do something about it because you're the only one who can change your circumstance. Nobody can hold your hand, especially when you're in your mid-twenties, going upwards. <laughs> Life is really hard and I realize even our parents are going through the ringer. And one thing I, Tabila and I always say is that like, at least we have this mindset now. You know, if you are ambitious and you really want more for yourself right now, it's an amazing thing because had we just been thinking, ah, it's fine i'll think about it in two years in two years a bitch is gonna be 27 well technically 26 because i'm still 24 but 27 you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah it's very important to me also 
you know for someone who's like young my younger um supporters you must always have a mindset of ambition yes don't put too much pressure on yourself but want more for yourself in the seasons where you're not able to achieve the things that you want to do because maybe you're young maybe you're still in school focus on what you're doing right now but just remember that there's an end goal that you need to you know be intentional about me pointing at the end goal gale fresh <laughs> but yeah you guys i that's something I'm thinking about. There's a lot going through my mind. There's a lot of planning because I genuinely feel like the year is not yet over. Yes, we're in October. There's literally two months left of the year, but I still want to earn that credibility with myself to say that, you know what? Even though I didn't achieve this stuff, these are the steps that I took towards achieving them, and this is the outcome. So if you guys see me posting a lot on the TikToks, on the Instagrams, please engage. <laughs> Your girl is trying to move on and up. But yeah, I will try and pick up this vlog again, you guys, when I'm doing something interesting. But it's one of those weeks where I'm literally not going anywhere. I'm home. Have we been focused this entire time? If it was out of focus, I'm very sorry. Or maybe I'm just blind. Because when the blaring, I know I'm sitting. And then when I move like this, it's fine. But anyway, yeah. I've literally not been doing anything. I I'm gonna eat. I haven't even eaten. I was eating the fries more. I'm gonna eat and then end my lunch break. Go back to work. I'm supposed to skip because this morning I didn't go to the gym, like do jump rope or something like that. So maybe I'll see you when I do that. And then whenever I do something interesting again. But yeah. Just some food for thought while I eat my food. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll see you when I have more to say. Also, I'm watching Love is Blind right now. Season 7 is eh, aside. But House of the Dragons. If you have show Max, please tap into House of the Dragons. What a show. What a show. Love ya. See ya. update you guys i warmed it and it tastes like heaven like wow mm. Mm. kfc baby you have us here on a chokehold oh my god oh my god where is that what's happening with the light hair <laughs> basically Dizal, i have just clocked out of work we're talking on the same day because i decided i want to do a little like spend the day with me type thing but you guys like met my day when it was halfway i actually want to film one of those for tiktok i just haven't had the energy nor that did i have the strength to do so so i'm gonna do it for my youtube girls why not so i just clocked out of work right now what i want to do ne? I want to go outside and jump rope, but before I do that, I need to anera my clothes, mother line, because I was doing some laundry. I have a couple more stuff to wash, including what I'm wearing. Skipping, I'm literally just skipping today. I'm not going to do any kind of workout because, like I said, I've been working out from Monday to Wednesday. <laughs> and then after doing that, I have to clean the kitchen because there are a bit of dishes that I have left pile up throughout the day. So let's do that. That was my little to-do list. Clink, clink, clink. I can't wait to be ticking them off. I've also been charging my camera battery while I was working. I was in a two-hour meeting that didn't feel like two hours. Like, you know, I was saying that whole thing like, oh, am I really doing right in my career space? And I was so validated in that meeting. Like, one of my colleagues, she gave me my dabs and I dabbed her right back. I said, period, poo. So that was very validating. Um... And just a reminder that anytime you ask for signs, the universe or God will definitely send you a sign to confirm that you're exactly where you're supposed to be, doing exactly what you're supposed to do at the exact time that you were supposed to do. And the church says, Amen. Okay, let's go and do this thing. Guys, I'm not even gonna hold you. My body's really telling me to go and take a nap. But my mind was telling me to go skip. 
so mind over matter is what they say we're gonna go skip i just got changed let's go outside let's go outside and skip the goal is to hit at least a thousand skips today yeah a thousand skips no thinking 1000 is the minimum no bars let's go I know we said a thousand, but I only did 500. It'd be like that sometimes. Since I showed up and I tried to move my body a little bit, I think that's the most important thing. Also, today's the 10th of October. Happy World Mental Health Day. Take a moment to step outside, you know, move your body a little bit. The tree behind me is depressing me, but it's giving like. Seems like all the autumn leaves are falling. But then we go relax. And then we go finish taking off everything that was left on the to do list. Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do all of these, so quick transition. Okay. Oh no, you guys, the sky was so pretty. It was so pretty and purple this side. And I just thought it would be the same when I got out. But one thing about the sunsets in Botswana eat down. Eat down. Masika Lady Zala. I don't know why I keep calling her as that because that is a promotion, yeah, orange. Maybe let little must come because South Africa can Yeah, you definitely should. Must come is like Vodacom, Telcom. Anyways. That's what it's like. We definitely do not have that. Yeah. I just finished taking a shower, you guys, but I was literally sending Tabi Levian. Levi, I'm singing to both you and my people. And having core values as one woman to, or just like one woman like being is so important because I literally immediately after work knew that I had to go wash dishes I had to go clean this I had to anaga my clothes I had to all of them I had to fold them if I was just an ordinary girl who didn't have these things instilled in me I would have just came back and just left everything what say you yeah. you agree I got these um, hand lotions, scented hand lotions from my older sister, Dwi. So this one is from Mark Jacobs. Actually, I got this one from my sister-in-law. Shout out Joy, Mark Jacobs Decadence, baby one. It smells really good. And then this one I got from my sister, Tepo. It is from Versace on the flow. I don't know if she wants to focus or if she wants to... Hey, Versace, bright crystal. They smell divine i think i'm gonna put the mark jacobs one on this is what i do when i don't want to like spray any body mist on my body um but i still want to smell nice before going to bed i put a lot on and then just spread it around i've been doing this of recent because i just got these so i literally just spread it around my neck area put it on here Ooh! and the smell my vibes literally decadence Right? Decadence. I was like, yo, what if I'm not saying the right word? Anyways, Jitalazami, today I did really good. Oh, also the light. <laughs> but I was saying, hey, look, <sighs> the yapper in me has yapped today from the time I filmed to my meeting to now. But yeah, today I did really good. I'm very happy that I picked up the camera, shared my thoughts with you guys. Um, and just went through the motions the best way that I could. I am gonna leave you guys now because I'm gonna watch House of the Dragon. Watching Love is Blind. And I cannot believe Monica and S oh I by the time I, I released this vlog, you guys would have watched it. But Monica and Steven breaking up because Steven was texting another girl. 
I did not know that man was gonna do that. He looked like such a new news. Like, motora tang masagya ka ako kante. Kante. So, that was very shocking to me. I really, I heard that Tyler and Ashley are gonna have issues. And that's my couple. Like, I was literally blushing when those two were speaking to each other. Like, that's how much I love, love, love them. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I find out. But yeah, let me love and leave you. Bo Ange, I'll see you on another day. Say hi, vlog! <laughs> my camera's gonna fall all the way down. Guys, kill it back, guys. I brought you, but I did not bring my tripod. What's happening? Welcome to another day. Um, I'm currently at my cousin's house. I got here not too long ago, and then I had to get the party pack. Now, keep busy, keep up. We're whipping it up. Guys, today, Bodona decided to be so hot. But anyways guys, I'm gonna show you a little snippet of what I do, but not of the party because obviously like close to the chest. But I just thought I'd talk to you guys guys. I had a thought for with the new older people. <laughs> I'm only but one girl. I literally one of my aunts went out. I said, babe, bring me wings. But it's nothing too crazy. I've literally just been chopping up vegetables. What's in the pot right now is cabbage and onions. These are some carrots. These are some green onions. I did that. I mean, it's not that much, but you know what I mean. So I'm just making some chakalaka. So it is a kiddie's party, but we have to cook for the elders as well. You know? You know? Hey, love. Hey, love. Hey, love. <laughs> Say hi, vlog. Hey, vlog. Yo, they're probably like a ghost on my screen. Who is it? Who is it? Wait a minute. Who is it? Because she's back with her dreads longer. Longer. Her skin popping. Huh? I'm gonna get the twins out. Oh, I get the twins We finished. Retulete Batu. Being the new auntie is tough. Because I caught myself also. Not for sale under the age of 18, but I caught myself like in the room. I chucked a whole brutal fruit, my friend. Hey vlog guys, it is literally multiple days later. I tried to vlog as soon as I got back home from my cousin's house, but it was like 1 a.m. and I was whispering. I was a little bit tipsy from all the brutal fruits that I was drinking, so no, was like properly. But yeah, I just thought I would touch base because I'm currently finishing off editing this vlog and tell you guys that I love you so much. I literally am so happy that I filmed this vlog because I had so many thoughts so watching them back for me is just like damn like you guys are really my safe space and I share so much of what I'm thinking which low-key helps me process what it is I'm trying to say to myself or communicate what's going on in my head type of things so yeah it was a very fun vlog I think I was also just mentioning the fact that I got back home at 1 a.m. on that day and I immediately went on got into the shower so that I can sleep kill it fresh it was a very long day that day another thing that happened on that day so Balipi Moswewu 17 thousand and seven subscribers boom 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 ah! you guys this happened actually when i was at my cousin's house and i was too tired to celebrate but like we did it we did it we did it we did it we got to seventeen thousand subscribers i don't know how to thank you guys enough i feel like even just getting to a thousand subscribers was a lot for me because when I started this channel I didn't know what direction I was going with. I think we all know the story. I'm very humbled that you guys, you know, constantly want to come on to this channel, listen to me yap my heart out and just see me grow because I feel like we're all growing up together here. We started off in my late teens now we're getting into grown adulthood so our mindsets are changing a lot and just being able to you know share my thoughts and being received so well by you guys just means the absolute world to me i just strive to be someone who's authentic and true to themselves so you guys just know that when you're here 
expect realness no matter if my hair is done or i look crazy or i'm a little bit sick or i'm breaking out i will show up and you know having that reciprocated for me with you guys showing up as well is everything and more to me so thank you i love you to 20 thugger thousand so yeah this is where the vlog ends you guys i'm gonna pick up a new one from tomorrow today is currently a friday as i finish editing this vlog so it's gonna be up ready for you sunday so yeah i think i'll start off a, a vlog tomorrow i need to do my makeup no <laughs> get ready with me on tiktok for sure as i said guys i'm trying to okay, like I see, i'm trying something so if i don't put certain things on youtube you can always find them on the other social media platform let me not make this clip too long thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for 17,000 subscribers i love you don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Mwah.